Hello to all, welcome to the channel GeoGuru. In this video, we are going to talk about view sheet analysis in QGIS. So, view sheet analysis is a computational algorithm that delineates a view sheet. That means an area that is visible from a given location on the basis of a terrain surface. So, let's begin. So, before going to the QGIS practical, we just have a quick uh, look what is actually view shed. So view shed is basically the area which we can visualize from any particular point. For example, if you this is a hilly terrain, if a person standing here, so the green portion is a portion or green area is the area through which uh, up to which uh, this person can see. But if the height of the person is very low, so that means the visibility will be quite low. The area which be, can be visible from this particular area will be low. And if a person uh, comes in a some uh, height elevation then that this green area will be of larger area so through GIS and through the digital elevation model this type of analysis can be performed and there are various sector in which view shed analysis are very much useful for example in the defense purpose in order to locate some pro appropriate location to see the enemy or to hide from uh, ourselves from the enemy we can perform the view shed analysis in various architecture and town planning the view shed analysis is very much utilized and for site suitability analysis of mobile tower location view shed analysis can be performed not only this but there are n number of other application through which we can use this particular thing so let's go to the our qgis so this is our qgis and we have downloaded a dm a digital elevation model how to download the dm you can use the srtm plugin or you can view the video uh, given in the description so a uh, digital elevation model has to be projected into a local project coordinate system so we have converted this digital elevation model in utm 44 north zone because this area is belong to the northern part of india in nepal or india border so uh, we have used the google map in the basic and the base layer so that we can visualize our terrain more effectively and what thing we can do is uh, we can convert this uh, digital elevation model into a hill shade so how to do that just simply right click over this digital elevation model go to the properties and in the symbology in the render type we will just select hill shade and all the setting will be default just click apply okay so by using the hill shade effect we can actually uh, estimate a height proximation uh, like this particular area has some uh, ridge this particular portion has some valley kind of area or you can use the google terrain hybrid data and how to do that just use the hcm gis plugin and go to the base map and use this google satellite hybrid sorry uh, not the google satellite hybrid but but the Google Terrain Hybrid. So with the Terrain Hybrid, you can see, you can simply analyze that which portion is on higher side or which portion has a lower elevation. So just, we just move our TM to a higher portion. Now, in order to uh, perform the view shed analysis, we are going to install a plugin known as Visibility Analysis. So we just go to the plugin, manage and install plugin. Please make sure you have an internet connection and search for visibility analysis so this is the plugin if you haven't installed this plugin you can just click and you can install the plugin or if it is already installed you can use this plugin so uh, i've already installed this plugin i'll just close this and uh, i'll just go to the processing toolbox and i'll just search for visibility analysis so this is my plugin so first of all we just want to create the viewpoints and in order and before that we just need to mark some points a single point or multiple point uh, from which we want to check that how much area can be visualized with that point so we will just select any point for example uh, just we are going to take any hilltop like this is a hilltop and what we can do we just can create a temporary scratch layer just click on this and create a point file uh, please make sure that it is also should have local projection system that means wgs 44 uh, sorry utm 44 not zone so we will search for utm 44 you can select for your own area according to your own availability and uh, we just click ok 
and we now want to create a point so what we can do we just click this new stretch layer and create this uh, click on this three dot that means add point feature and uh, at the area of interest we just need to click uh, create a point so we just create a point over here you can now we see the point has been created over this hilltop and after that we are just going to save this file and toggle editing off now what we can to do uh, what we have to do we just need to go to create viewpoints in the visibility analysis and here the observation observer location will be the new scratch layer which we have created a temporary file the digital elevation model will be the dm utm 44 north and the radius of analysis that means how much like if you select 5000 meter radius so that means from this particular point a uh, person can view uh, uh, approximately of 5 kilometer of radius so we will just select as by default and observer height means uh, the standing the height from the ground level for that purpose so generally we usually select 1.5 to 2 that is a nominal average height so we we'll just select the 1.6 and rest will be as it is just click run so after that you will create you will get a new point file known as output layer so this is nothing but a similar file that we have created with a temporary file but it has some features if you go to the attribute table it will have some important feature like observer height and the radius which will be utilized in the view shed analysis so next thing we are going to do is click on this view shed and uh, the analysis type will be binary view shed you can read this instruction that uh, what is the binary view shed what is the depth below horizon that what is the horizon so presently we are just going to click the binary view shed observer uh, height will be the output layer which we have created from the create viewpoints and the digital elevation model will be utm now the atmospheric refraction means the error due to atmosphere uh, and everything will be as it is nothing more to disturb and just click run and now you can see that a raster file has been generated with a value 0 and 1 so 0 means the area which cannot be visualized from this particular point I'll just drag this over here so 0 means the point uh, the area which cannot be visualized from this point and white is the area which can be visualized from this point and in order to view this uh, view shed area we can just simply click uh, to the layer uh, styling and we just select this output file the raster file and we just select this plate light uh, palette unique value classify so uh, that means 0 and 1 uh, we have classified blue value as the 0 so we just need to double click over it and uh, sorry so we are going to make this 0 as a transparent just click on this uh, right click on this 0 and click on change opacity and from 100 we just make it 0 so that means it will become invisible now you can see this from this particular point you can visualize this much of area and we, if we just open the google terrain or the hybrid data set and we just drag it to the bottom so now you can see this this portion is at this much, uh, particular area so you can see that this uh, the lower side of this portion cannot be visualized from this point this area can be easily visualized so this type of thing or this type of analysis can be utilized if you want to get some uh, appropriate hotel with a good view or if you want to locate any defense location uh, so that maximum area can be covered of the enemy side or if you want to locate the tower mobile tower because we know that the mobile tower signals work with the line of sight so that means this area can easily be get easily get the mobile signals now this is the first part in the next part we are going to talk about how we can do some view, the view shed analysis with some multiple points that means from how much point or from how many points in nearby this particular area can be visible so thanks um, that's it for the this part if you hope you like the content of this tutorial if you do so then please hit the like button share this video and subscribe to the channel thank you